going, guys? I'm Tanya with Cinema Viva, out front the Solomar Hotel in downtown San Diego, where we are celebrating the San Diego Latino Film Festival closing gala. Yes, it's going to be a good time. There's going to be live music, stars to interview. We're going to see what people thought about the film and awards to give out. So grab your drink and let's go check out the party. I'm here with the always beautiful Yolanda hosting her Latino Film Festival. Yolanda, we want to ask you a little bit about the Media Arts Center and where the proceeds are going for this closing night gala. Well, you know, the Media Arts Center, one of the things is it does that it does with the funds it raises through the San Diego Latino Film Festival is it channels the proceeds to the Teen Producers Project. And this consists of giving the opportunity to young students um, to study the craft of filmmaking, to actually produce documentaries, and then ultimately to actually have screenings as part of the San Diego Latino Film Festival, thereby giving them exposure to that kind of activity. I'm here with Dolores and Sandra, who are helping support the film festival with Macy's. Right. How? Tell me a little bit about your project. Well, we're really honored at, to be part of this film festival. Macy's has been a sponsor for many years, and we're one of the major sponsors. We are from Macy's in Chula Vista, and today we've um, asked our Estee Lauder partners to come and help us. They're doing mini makeovers for all the ladies attending tonight. It's a lot of fun, and we're really, really pleased to be here. I'm here with Maria, one of the many beautiful women here that is supporting the film festival. Maria, we're going around and asking people, ooh, it's so crowded. We're asking people if they've seen any films that are in the festival, any good ones, and so what? Yes, I saw Conozca la Cabeza de Juan Perez, I think that's the name, and it was really interesting. I, it was a comedy, and uh, but they were also able to talk about the crisis that's going on, the financial crisis, and I thought it was really interesting how they mixed um, just human nature with the current crisis and made it fun to watch too. It was really interesting, I recommend anyone to go see it. I'm here with Jean Perry, the director of the Ten Piece Orchestra that's featured here at the Closing Night Gala. I'm trying to get an interview with him because the crowd is really antsy for you guys to come on. Yeah, they want, they can't wait, you know? Yeah, earlier everybody was dancing. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of music that we're going to hear? Because everybody's so antsy to get on the floor. Well, it's uh, what we call salsa. Uh, a mixture of the Afro-Caribbean rhythms with the melodies of the horns. And that becomes a marriage. And uh, it's very important, the rhythms came from Africa, but they developed in the different uh, Latin American countries like Puerto Rico, Cuba, Santo Domingo. So we, we blend all those rhythms together with the melodies of the horns. one of our wonderful reporters over at San Diego 6 who covers all of the Latino Spanish events, right? Yes, yes. I, um, I'm always covering uh, border issues down in, in Tijuana. It's been uh, a crazy year with all the uh, situations that have been happening. Um, there's been a lot of border violence, obviously. Um, it's been uh, very sad to see the, the horrible things that have been happening there in, in Tijuana. It, it just doesn't seem like it's going to end. Um, unfortunately, um, there's a lot of corruption that is going on, and um, a lot of the people down there say that once that corruption could, could be um, corralled, that maybe we could see an end to the drug violence that we're seeing right now. On a lighter side, you're a very 
handsome guy. May I ask uh, what brought you here tonight? Well, the, the Latino Film Festival, I mean, this is an excellent event. I mean, we, we saw a movie yesterday, um, Perro Come Perro. It, it was it was awesome. I mean, it, it was such a uh, an interesting film to, to see. It was sort of a, a drug cartel kind of a deal that was going on. And um, that, that's what brought me here today is, is the, 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 uh, the great Latino Film Festival that we're seeing here today. <laughs> wonderful films that we've seen. Jose, tell me about any projects that you've been doing lately. Uh, let's see, well, I just finished doing the, um, a webisode. Webisode is like this whole new thing now. Um, uh, Heroes has, uh, NBC.com has this new webisode called uh, Heroes Destiny. So I just finished uh, doing an episode and I think we may come back and do some more, which is really cool because for the first time, you know, I mean, I love doing films and I love indie films, but for the first time in TV, I'm doing something like, um, uh, having electricity come out of my my hands, so I have powers. So yeah, Jose Yenke has powers. So it's really cool. And also, um, I just finished doing a film with Vanessa Branch. It's called Coldplay. It's a psychological thriller. So I'm hoping that it'll be seen in some festivals and all that. But yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, and I'll always be here every year to support the San Diego Latino Film Festival. Hey, this is Jose Yenke, and you are watching Cinema Viva. <laughs> The bad guy in Un Dien del Banco. Can you tell me? I'm the bad guy. You're the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. And tell me a little bit about your character or anything about the film that's interesting. Well, what can I tell you? You know, the bad character is always the one everybody remembers. Definitely. The you know, nobody remembers the good guy, but they remember the bad guys. You know, you just got to play your character, and the character is, you know, somebody who goes and rob a bank. And the guy, you know, has to be special. And being special means like, you know, you're bad, but you're good. Well, you seem like such a sweet guy. It's almost hard to believe that they cast you oh, to I play. Am. I am. Where's your wallet? <laughs> I'm here with the beautiful Alexander Rosa. And uh, I am thrilled to be here tonight because uh, Art Rocks, my company, and Philly Joe Swindow's company, we are one of the media sponsors again for the 16th annual San Diego Latino Film Festival. And we have been such big supporters from years ago when it started out as just a little film festival. And we are just thrilled and so happy that it's become this major party. And, and it's so well attended and, and there's 140 films this year. Oh my God. From 14 different countries all over the world. So I just think that's amazing. Well, it's clearly been a good time tonight. We got some great interviews, got to listen to some music, do a little dancing, but it's time to call it a night. And next year, please join us at the 17th Annual Latino Film Festival. Until next time, have a good night. I'm Tanya for Cinema Viva. Ciao.